Finally on the topic of inelastic and elastic demands, and this will be a two-part video. Um, yeah, let's just start off. So, I want you to know that demand can be inelastic, unit elastic, or elastic, and this can range from zero to infinity, and I will explain more about this as we go on with the videos. Now, uh, something you need to know is the definition of the per perfectly inelastic demand. Now, this occurs if the quantity demanded remains constant when the price changes. In this case, the price elasticity is zero, and a good example of that is insulin. It is important to diabetics, so whether the price increases or the price decreases, the quantity demand doesn't change. The diabetics will always be buying it, the insulin, no matter the price, because if they don't buy it, they die. And this is the graph of a perfectly inelastic demand. You can see that the demand curve is vertical here, which shows that the elasticity is zero. And yeah, that's perfectly inelastic demand. Now the second definition you need to know is unit elastic demand. Now unit el elastic demand is different. It happens when the percentage change in quantity demanded equals the percentage change in price. So the price elasticity equals 1 here. So I guess this is uh, the graph that I came up with, with uh, for unit, el unit elastic demand. The demand curve is, uh, with, uh, is an ever declining slope. And uh, elasticity is always one. And yeah, and uh, we'll just move on to differences between inelastic and elastic demand, and then we'll end the video. Yeah, I'm totally making the video super short today because I just don't want to make videos. Yeah, so let's start off. If the percentage change in quantity demanded is smaller, then the percentage change in price, so I'm, t I'm typing because I'm being lazy. See, I do economics and I'm a programmer and I'm lazy. <laughs> so if the percentage change in quantity demanded is smaller than the percentage change in price, so remember this elasticity is the percentage change in quantity demanded over the percentage change in price. Now. When this happens, the price elasticity of demand will be less than 1. So it is less than 1. And the good in this case has inelastic demand. Inelastic demand. Now, if, if, or got bold on it, if the percentage change in the quantity demanded quantity demanded is greater than the percentage change in price what happens in this case is that the price elasticity of demand is greater than 1 and is greater let's just bold this in is greater than 1 and the good has elastic demand and that's the differences um, well I guess that's what you need to know regarding um, regarding the elasticity that you find uh, at the end or the price elasticity of demand that you calculate at the end and yeah that's pretty much it so um, so let's just go back and look at our formula from before. Where is that formula? So price elasticity of demand, percentage change in quantity demanded over the percentage change in price. And let's make let's just go ahead and do a short example. So if the first point, the first uh, super point. So if the percentage change in quantity demanded is small percentage change in price. So we know that the uh, the price elasticity of demand formula is quantity uh, is the percentage change in quantity over the percentage change in price. Let's say a percentage change in quantity is 2 and the percentage change in price is 10. In this case, um, the, the price elasticity of demand is uh, 1 over 5 and that is less than 1. And in this case, we have inelastic demand. Inelastic demand. Now, let's just do Let's just flip these numbers over. 
So we have 10 over 2, and that will give us 5. And 5 is greater than 1, so we have elastic demand. And that's all I want to teach you for this video. As I said, it's a two-part video, so uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.